To our senses, reality feels continuous. Time flows like a river, one second blending smoothly into the next. Space seems infinitely divisible. You can walk halfway across a room, then halfway again and again, without ever running out of smaller steps. The planets trace graceful arcs in the sky, rivers carve smooth valleys, and light pours across space, as if in an unbroken stream. From the human and cosmic perspective, the universe presents itself as a seamless fabric. Doesn't it feel natural to assume that continuity is the fundamental truth of reality? Yet at the atomic and quantum level, the picture abruptly changes. Electrons in an atom cannot orbit at just any energy. They must occupy discrete levels, jumping between them in quantum leaps. Light itself is not a continuous wave, but arrives in quanta, Photons. Reality at this scale looks pixelated, like a digital screen that from far away appears smooth, but up close reveals individual dots. Isn't it strange that the same world feels continuous to us, but granular to its smallest parts? This tension runs even deeper when we consider space-time itself. Einstein's relativity treats space and time as a smooth continuum, bending and stretching under gravity. But many physicists suspect that at the Planck scale, 10 to 35 meters, 10 to 44 seconds, space-time may no longer be continuous, but foamy, granular, or even made of discrete atoms of geometry. Loop quantum gravity, for example, envisions space-time as woven from finite loops, while string theory suggests vibrating strings as the smallest units. If so, our sense of flowing time and smooth space may be an illusion that emerges only at large scales. Could it be that the universe is less like an unbroken canvas and more like a cosmic mosaic, its pixels too fine for us to see? The paradox, then, is that both views work. Treating reality as continuous allows us to predict planetary orbits, build bridges and map galaxies, Treating it as discrete lets us build lasers, semiconductors, and quantum computers. Each framework is correct in its own domain, but neither explains the whole. What lies beneath? An ultimate continuity or an ultimate discreteness? Or perhaps reality transcends both, and these are only the languages our minds use to approximate it. So, we are left with a haunting question. When you touch a smooth surface, are you feeling something continuous or billions of tiny quantum interactions too small for you to notice? And when you look up at the night sky, is cosmic space truly infinite and seamless, or is it stitched together from invisible quanta of reality? Which would be stranger, that the universe is ultimately continuous or that it is pixelated all the way down? At everyday scales, reality appears smooth and unbroken. Time flows like a continuous river, and space seems infinitely divisible. We walk across a room without noticing jumps or gaps in distance. Our senses are tuned to perceive change as gradual, not stepwise. This creates the impression that continuity is a fundamental property of nature. Classical physics reinforced this view, describing motion and space with continuous variables. The human-scale world thus feels like a seamless continuum. Watching the hands of a clock sweep smoothly around its face gives us the sense that time is continuous. It is like a movie that seems fluid, even though it is made of discrete frames. On astronomical scales, continuity also dominates our perception. The orbit of planets around stars appears to follow smooth ellipses. Light spreads across billions of light years, as if space-time were continuous. Einstein's general relativity models gravity as the curvature of a smooth fabric. Nothing in the motions of galaxies suggests discreteness. At these scales, reality unfolds in a continuous geometry. Continuity seems to be the universal canvas of the cosmos. The path of Earth around the Sun traces a continuous orbit lasting one year. It is like a vast ocean surface that looks perfectly smooth when seen from high above. At the atomic scale, reality behaves differently. 
Electrons can only occupy discrete energy levels rather than sliding smoothly between them. Transitions occur as sudden quantum jumps, not continuous flows. Light itself is emitted and absorbed in quanta called photons, each carrying a fixed packet of energy. This quantization is one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics. Discreteness replaces continuity as the fundamental description at small scales. Reality at this level seems pixelated rather than smooth. The hydrogen atom emits photons of precise energies, producing sharp spectral lines. It is like a staircase where you can only stand on steps, never between them. Not only energy, but also matter shows discreteness. Elementary particles, such as electrons and quarks, appear indivisible, resisting subdivision into smaller parts. Fields once thought continuous, like the electromagnetic field, are quantized into photons. Quantum field theory describes all interactions in terms of discrete excitations of fields. The world of the very small cannot be infinitely divided. The discreteness of particles and quanta challenges our classical intuition. Light behaves as both a wave and as photons, discrete packets of energy. It is like music that sounds like a smooth melody but is built from distinct notes. Time itself may also be subject to the paradox of continuity and discreteness. Classical physics treats time as a smooth parameter advancing continuously. Yet some theories of quantum gravity suggest that time could be quantized at the Planck scale. 1043 seconds. If true, what feels like flow may be composed of unimaginably tiny ticks. Our human experience would never detect these because they are far below any direct measurement. Time could be both continuous in perception and discrete in reality. Atomic clocks measure time in discrete oscillations of atoms, revealing how timekeeping itself is quantized. It is like listening to a symphony that feels continuous, but is played note by note. Space also faces the question of continuity versus discreteness. Relativity describes space as smooth, but quantum gravity suggests space-time may be granular at the Planck length, 1035 m. If space is quantized, the smooth geometry we perceive would be an approximation of deeper discreteness. Just as matter is made of atoms, space itself might have indivisible units. At larger scales, these units blend into apparent continuity. The fabric of space could thus be pixelated at its foundation. Loop quantum gravity proposes that space-time is built from discrete atoms of geometry. It is like a digital screen that looks smooth from a distance but reveals pixels up close. The wave-particle duality illustrates how continuity and discreteness coexist. Light and matter exhibit both wave-like spread and particle-like quantization. Waves suggest smooth continuity, while particles reveal discreteness. Experiments such as the double slit show both aspects simultaneously. Neither description alone captures the full reality. Both are needed. Nature seems to weave continuity and discreteness into one fabric. Electrons interfere like waves, but strike detectors as discrete impacts. It is like a rope that is both continuous along its length and made of discrete strands. The perception of continuity or discreteness may depend on the limits of observation. At human scales, instruments average over huge numbers of particles, producing smooth results. At quantum scales, precision measurements reveal quantized steps. Our theories reflect what we can measure, not necessarily what exists independently. Continuity may be an emergent illusion from averaging discrete phenomena, or discreteness may emerge from underlying continuous fields. Measurement itself shapes the paradox. Current microscopes cannot probe below the Planck length leaving the discreteness of space-time unresolved. It is like seeing a mosaic. From afar, it looks smooth, but up close, the tiles are distinct. The paradox is whether reality is fundamentally continuous or discrete. At human and cosmic scales, smoothness prevails. 
At atomic scales, discreteness dominates. The two views seem contradictory, yet both are essential for science to describe nature. Perhaps reality is layered, with discreteness at the foundations and continuity as an emergent property. Or perhaps both are approximations of a deeper structure we have yet to discover. The tension between continuity and discreteness defines the mystery of reality's true texture. Quantum mechanics requires discrete states, while relativity requires continuous space-time, leaving unification unresolved. It is like asking whether a painting is truly smooth or textured. It depends on how closely you look.